Do you ever change up the look of your cards using mediums or textures? Today I share a couple of easy ways to make a difference. Welcome back to another Take Two with Therese Altenew and today I am featuring the Wave Panel Die. This Japanese inspired die is a real beauty and it works really well whether you want to sort of use it on A2 card. You can either double it up or use it as a single centerpiece. Today I just kind of wanted to share how using different mediums and textures can really change the look of your products and really make a difference to your designs. So I thought I'd start with a watercolour rainbow and that is always going to brighten someone's day. And one of the best things is when you are choosing rainbow colours to mix together, when they blend together they give you extra colours and don't create mud. And that's just using the Roy G Biv, so red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. But you don't have to use those colours, you can actually use variations of this. So instead of red today I've grabbed the pink, hot pink. Instead of green I've got sort of a teal green colour. And they still mix in the same way. And I'm also keeping my die handy and just sort of hovering it over top just to make sure that my watercolour rainbow background will be large enough when I die cut it. I don't want any of that white cardstock to be showing. And once I'm happy with my colours and the blending I'll just set that aside to dry really well before I die cut it with the die. This is an intricate die, it is thick cardstock. If you're not sure whether it's going to work or not just do a little practice run through your die cutting machine to make sure that if you need to add a shim you can do it earlier otherwise you can sort of have a peek and then um, rerun it through the machine if you want. I'm using some liquid glue to adhere it to the front of a landscape A2 card, it's a top fold but I'm only actually adding glue to the centre of the panels I kind of want that little bit of dimension with that watercolour medium to add a little something extra to this design. So the top and the bottom of each of the panels kind of sits off the card just a little bit. But of course you don't need to do this step, you can adhere the whole panel if you prefer that look. And I've kept it really simple and added a circled sentiments, sentiment to the centre of the panel and popped it up with some foam tape. But you could add whatever sentiment that you have and even a nice big bold one here would look great. So my second idea is to add some texture but first I want to prep my other images for the design. I've stamped out some stunning securas in a morning frost so this is going to be almost like a no line colouring effect and I've got the coordinating stencils there going to allow me to add colour really quickly and I was just showing you there that the images are also in the centre of the insert from where the stencils are if you're not sure where to add colour or what colours to use the guide is in there. I want this to be a real subtle look so I've got the detail blending brushes and I'm picking up some really pale pink ink this is the frosty pink and I'm kind of working from the centre of the petal to add that little bit of extra depth and leaving it almost white on the edges. So I just worked through all of the flower petals here. The main thing to note is that sometimes it's a bit hard to work out where the centre of the flower is and, and it's kind of um, easier to add that depth in the centre. So if you're not sure you can take a peek at the guide in the insert. I've added some pink sand to create my branch and also some silver sage for the leaves. And you may have noticed that I'm using my sticky mat, it's the grid mat out of the stamp wheel. I actually pulled it out of the stamp wheel and I'm using that to hold my stencils in place so I'm not having to adhere anything down. And because I stamped it in the morning frost you couldn't see the centres of the flowers so I thought it was nice to come in with the fine liner and add that detail myself. I could see some of the image within the stamped image but you could pretty much just draw in whatever um, little circles and lines that's all it was. And I used the 01, I think it was the finest pen out of the set. So here's how I'm going to add the texture to this design. I've got some birchwood cardstock. Now Alton you have this 
in their store and I hoard this like you wouldn't believe and I want to use it more because I love the warmth that it adds to a design and it's actually made from real wood. I wanted to pop this up so to make it harder for myself. There's a couple of ways you can do this. I actually decided to use some fun foam. I do leave my die cut in place in the fun foam, add the liquid glue, just small dots of it and then adhere the die cut over top of that. Once it's nearly dry, that's when I will start pulling out the inner pieces, especially the smaller ones first, and then I can remove the whole die from the fun foam, and I find that works really well for me. The other way that you could do this is to cut multiple layers of cardstock and adhere them together. You could use liquid glue to do that, spray glue, or even double-sided adhesive. Both ways are going to take a little bit of time. The fastest way would to be to adhere it directly <laughs> to your cardstock. All right, so I've added a sentiment here. I've also die cut the wave panel out of some moon rock cardstock to create a insert for my panel for the card front. And a sentiment that was from the linear spiral stamp set. And then I used liquid glue again to adhere the whole wave panel in place. And then I could just pop up my Secure flowers. And I like to flip the card over, cut the edges off so it's nice and neat. And then with the leftover flowers, I couldn't not use them. <laughs> so I actually just adhered those directly near the sentiment at the base of the card with some dotted adhesive. I know there's so many different ways that you can change the look of a die or even a cover die or other panel dies that Old and You have. Uh, with colours and mediums. But for me, I really like how the rainbow panels came out today. I just find this really nice and clean and simple. But let me know, do you actually prefer the more classic sort of Japanese style with the, stun with the stunning Sakura? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So if you did like today's designs and you were inspired, it'd be great if you could click on the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And I've linked a couple more videos here to inspire you. I look forward to seeing you there. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.